is celebrated. Parents tell their children, do big things, son. Have big dreams. Accomplish big things. And because of this bigness that have come into our minds, we can't appreciate the small things in life. If you evaluate carefully, small words are actually used to describe big things. For example, look up into the heavens. The word to describe that which you see and can't see is sky. Such a small word to, dis to describe such a thing as we, that we cannot even imagine its length and its breadth. When we want to describe that emotion and principle that guides our lives, that is a foundation of service, a foundation of marriages and good family relationships, we use a simple word as love. Scientists and others have tried to explain this simple word as love to describe that which describes that strong emotion that really keeps the world going. Jesus taught us that in order to describe his kingdom, he used something small as an illustration. And that's what we are going to talk about today. The mustard seed. As you look in my hand, I have a small packet with over a hundred mustard seeds packed into this packet and it is not even half full as yet. The reason I packed it all together is for you to see the amount of seeds that needs to be packed together in order to really see it. If I have to take a seed out of that packet, it would be as small as this. Unable really to be seen from a distance. You can hold it and no one would even think you have something between your fingers. But this small mustard seed amazingly has been chosen by Jesus Christ. The one who was, who is and is to come. The one whom the Bible says is Alpha and Omega. The one whom God chose to build his kingdom on this earth. He chose the mustard seed to describe the kingdom of God. And before we go into the kingdom of God, let's explore this mustard seed a little bit. Mustard seeds, when they grow, grow into mustard plants, which is an edible plant that many people in, in some communities eat. While it is the smallest of the seeds, it indeed grows into big trees. The seed, in fact reaches the size of just three millimeters in diameter. It may be colored from yellowish white to black. In fact, it is not only a seed used to plant where we can eat the, the, the leaves of it, but it is used in many cuisines of the world. It is used among in many Indian dishes. It is used in many foods for various reasons. Research that I have done have shown that mustard seeds were used for more than 2,000 years in a place like India. The French have used the mustard seeds since around 808 AD. In fact, in all the explorations and all the territories they went to conquer, among the spices that they carried with them was the mustard seed. In the New Testament, Jesus used the mustard seed as a model for the kingdom of God, which usually starts small, but grows bigger and becomes the biggest of all garden plants. Faith is also talked about in the context of a mustard seed. And Jesus, who made mention of the mustard seed, amazes us by likening the kingdom of God to a mustard seed. A mustard seed takes about three to ten days to germinate if it is placed under the proper conditions. Mustard oil is used to massage bodies. bodies. It, is, it has therapeutic uses as well. 
In many cases, mustard oil, if mixed with other oils, are used to place in the ears of little children when they have earaches as well. Jesus used a mustard seed. I can't imagine that a seed as small as this, that cannot be seen from a distance, was used by Jesus to describe his kingdom that spans centuries. His kingdom that has space for everyone on the face of this planet. Let me talk a little while about this Jesus. Right at the beginning, let me assert that this one who speaks about a small mustard seed is unashamedly the one that I am excited about. He always has, always will be and continue to be the one that excites millions in this world. Yes, his name is Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. And in our decision and in our choices to come and become more like him, in our decisions not to just exist, but to become something in this world, God presents us with a mustard seed as an example of the potential that exists exist within us that he created us with, Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, the name at, at just the mention of his name, every knee will bow and tongue will confess that he is Lord of all. Yes, he is the most studied, the most examined and the most debated figure of all history. Napoleon Bonaparte, who was hardly known for being impressed by anyone else except himself, voiced the thoughts of countless others in stating, Everything in Christ astonishes me. His spirit overawes me and his will confounds me. And listen carefully to what he said next. Between him and whoever else in the world, there is no possible term of comparison. And this Jesus that I talk about used a tiny mustard seed as an illustration of his kingdom. There must be something exciting about this Jesus. And before I go into the intricacies of the mustard seed and why Jesus used it, let me share with you a few more thoughts about this Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. When he chose to come to this earth, he chose poverty to demonstrate and show to us that a man's life does not consist in the abundance of things that he possesses. No, when Jesus came to this earth, he did not come as a mighty conqueror, but he chose weakness to prove once and for all that it is not by might nor by power, but by his spirit. When Jesus chose to come to this earth, he did not come with wealth and riches. He came to demonstrate to us that what does it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Yes, God chose the path that men deemed foolish to prove that God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. That's what Jesus came to show us. When we get back, we'll explore this theme a little more. Stay right with us. Thank you. 